What's going on YouTube? This is Carries here. Today I'm going to show you how to install some LED marker lights on your Honda S2000. This is going to be a really quick video because you do not need many tools to do this. As you can see I'm doing this here. I'm also doing an HID install uh, replacing the bulb here so check out my other video on that as well. First thing you're going to want to do is remove your tire and wheel. So I have done that here. Um, you have this inner trim piece in here that you're going to have to remove. My car does not have it because if you've seen the video of my S2000, um, I got these Bilstein coilovers on it and uh, it's a, they're adjustable so it's adjusted and it's dropped pretty good bit so in order to do that I had to remove the inside of this fender here, the trim, for it to fit. So I don't have that here but you can see you've got some little holes here uh, where you have the bolts that attach all the way around you know some clips plastic clips stuff like that anyway to get to it I'm going to show you what it is this is your LED your marker light which is right here this is your turn signal bulb which goes right up here that's your for your turn signals and your flashers HID your low beams here high beams which are halogen are on that side so that's your basic setup to do this is very simple guys you have this bulb here here I have an Osram I'll go ahead and remove it for you show it to y'all this is an Osram 12 volt 1 watt 2850 CW is the number on this this is a 6000 K as you can see right there so um, this is a little bulb and it's just LED. The nice thing about this is, is being that it's just a simple indicator light, uh, your parking light, there's no flashing involved. In order to install LED uh, flashers, uh, blinker lights, you would have to install a resistor and wire a resistor in because the factory, uh, the LED is not enough to trip the sensor inside and actually make the make the click sound and you know make make the lights flash on and off because what happens is you have a voltage break where you have current and it gets hot enough to where it breaks and then it comes back and it breaks again that's basically how that works um, the LEDs like you can see here one watt it's such a low power draw that it would not be enough to do that so you do not have to do any of that stuff with this just simply install it and I'll go ahead and plug it in and show y'all what it looks like alright so as y'all can see here this is your light super bright 6k little led really nice puts off a lot of light looks really good when you put it in here although uh i need to polish my headlight housings up a little bit and uh if i replaced it where i didn't have this amber here i think it would look even better but just to give you all an idea as you can see here i'll go ahead and pop it in this hole you know it's, it's a nice it's a nice little look nice clean look i like it can't really tell it's LED from the inside, but it does put off more light than a factory room, so it does make that brighter. Anyway, that's a simple video on how to install it, guys. Um, this clip here, I mean, these are simple. They push in, they have tabs. You turn them like a quarter of a turn counterclockwise, and they come out, quarter of a turn back, and they lock in place. Super simple. Anyway, just wanted to show you all that, that what it looks like, how to do it. K. Reese, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe.